How's it going, folks? It's Cass, one of the nurse practitioners at Titan Medical Center, here with Chenille. I'm also one of the nurse practitioners here at Titan Medical Center. We're here today to talk to you folks about the importance of having your labs drawn. Which is important for both males and females. Oftentimes, you go into your primary care office, they may check just a specific set of labs, but they do oftentimes leave out some of the hormones. Yeah, and the hormones are super important. This can determine if, how you're feeling, energized, gaining weight, poor sexual health, not to mention not reaching your goals. Right, I mean, it can also affect things like your joint inflammation, recovery after your workouts, that stamina and endurance that you might be feeling during your training sessions. And which leads me to another point. Yeah, you could go try and get this taken care of over the counter at a store with supplements, but why not pinpoint exactly what's going on? Right, and not to mention some of those supplements that you're really getting over the counter, they're unfortunately not really regulated. So you never know exactly what you're getting and certain things too, I'll use DHEA as an example. It is a precursor hormone to both testosterone and estrogens. You never know how your specific body is going to convert or adapt to that type of uh, medication. So you may end up with really high estrogen levels and almost working counterintuitively to what you thought the initial purpose was. Precisely, exactly. You wouldn't know that your estrogen levels are potentially high because without lab work, you're kind of guessing. So very important to get your labs drawn. We can do this in the office here or you can go to any lab core nearest you in your area. Certain places we can also utilize Quest for you. You just have to let us know. We can certainly help you out and determine which place is gonna be more appropriate for you. Yeah, local and nationwide. Exactly, so it doesn't matter if you're not here or able to come in the office. We can do FaceTime or Skype appointments and consultations as well. Yeah, so folks, if you need help, you wanna do a more in-depth analysis of your overall health, give us a call. 727-389-3220. Folks, stay healthy out there. My name's uh, Steve Morin. I'm a 38-year-old Army combat vet. I like to uh, work out, go on hikes, uh, spend all the time I can with my son, try to do things with youth athletics and other veterans, bringing them to train and also talk after training periods. Actually, I found out about Titan and uh, I was living in Cape Coral, Florida, and Dave Palumbo was at the gym that I worked out at. Um, and I heard him talking to other people and he came up to us and told us about Titan. And Without a hesitation, I went into did some research and found nothing but great things about it. Called up and became family instantly with them. Wow, Titans helped me amazingly. Um, with a brain injury, I found that taking testosterone replacement therapy really brings out the cognitive brain function. Also bringing me up to a physical peak uh, to where I need to push myself to every single day to have that full recovery and the go-getting that I need to do to, to survive day to day. So I used it to really help me get back on on track, you know, I'm a single father. So it was like, I needed something and I wasn't gonna go the other routes with all the pills and this and that. It's like, I'll try every therapy possible before those types of medications. And TRTs saved my life. Our levels, especially being, you know, in your mid twenties, early thirties, your levels are at, are at the highest. But when you get and you stay on those levels and when like, when I came back and got, you know, the brain injury and everything, my levels were going down. So like my baseline was, was nothing. So being on TRT kind of got me back to that baseline and then some. I knew you know, about it before obviously in the military and stuff like that. Because it's, it's one of those things where you want to do it to the left and right, you'd be at their best. And that's nothing but you know, the natural ability. You bring them to their levels where they're supposed to be, you know, you're good to go. And that's how I've always been. So, so I got into like that research with it and then started doing it and uh, just saw so much and was like all right and with these guys titan they you know you get your lab done you're always they keep you up to date with it so there's no for me there's no like anxiety of how my blood work is is this going blah blah they take every like all that stress away from me just to kind of live and, and do my life because you know? it helps so i got four buddies that do it right now and we all were in some low places so with trt keeping a gallon of water a day is nothing it's not it's it's so normal and that's what i tell people it's like they have a headache and this and like you're drinking enough water let's start with that and bring yourself up and trt opens the door for everything else I, for me personally um with eating right the sleep that i get i never had nightmares or nothing like that but being on trt i actually wake up and feel rested you know i can sleep and be like i feel good versus that constant up and down wake go to sleep awake you know what i mean all night long TRT gives me that, a good baseline for everything. 
It has, and that's why my new thing is, it's helped me so much, because before, like, I have social anxiety. So my doctors never believe I could do this, nothing like that. Um, and taking this, and I'm, what I'm trying to do now is get veterans to train in the gym, whether it's CrossFit, powerlifting, just anything, stretch. But come there, you're going to be with a bunch of other veterans, and we can either talk during those exercises, because sometimes you're in a gym with your, your buddy, shit gets kind of deep, and you guys can really open up to each other. So it's the same thing. We can either do it before or um, after the workout or during it. And then you get like that little veteran meeting and you know, it will blow some steam off, get things to other people. And at the same time, you're helping your body. You're physically taking that next step every day to get better and better. With my injury, when I first found out my brain injury, I was 253 pounds when I got out. I was pretty big. And I lost over 100 of it in less than eight months. Uh, my mom was a director at two hospitals down Port Charlotte. Punta Gorda, all the doctors trying to figure everything out, taking blood, just trying to figure it out. It was all up here. So I would, um, you know, I wouldn't eat. And I, it's not like I wouldn't try to think about it. I just never thought about eating and stuff like that. But I'd go all day long. I was doing that fasting before it was cool. Um, so the MK677 really actually, the, the VA is giving me stuff for appetite and nothing comes close. This was actually, oh man. Like, I actually ate, but I was holding it on. You know, I wasn't losing my weight. I was actually holding it on, and I, it was two pills a day, a pill a day, or something like that. In about two weeks of taking it, I felt the difference. Yeah, especially in the gym. I was like, yeah. Glutathione was amazing. It was a month-long therapy, and that month was amazing. Um, that got me back to knowing what feeling, my body feeling good is again. Um, healthy, it was, it was great five, six years ago, that's why when I heard you guys had it, I was like, it's like literally that, you take it, and you're like, wow. And then by three, four days, you're like, I'm thinking to myself, is this normal? Is like, this what healthy feels like now? Um, I felt clean, I felt, yeah, the stuff. And that's why I tell people, like, whole food and a lot of water, get your supplementation, like, you know, your hormone level check, and you'll be good to go. Oh, definitely, definitely. If you're trying to up your game, get to optimum levels, Titan's definitely the way to go. Um, it's bringing you back up to making you feel and know what good is again. What's up guys? John Shreese here outside ABC Action News, WFTS. If you guys wanna know more about the Titan lifestyle, more about what me and Sharice do behind the scenes, tune in. Every Sunday, 11 a.m., ABC, Titan Medical Center, and we'll see you there. some of the other details that we have going on and uh, make sure everything is tip top for your guys viewing pleasure so if you guys want to see it sunday 11 a.m abc i don't care if you're on frontier spectrum as long as you're in florida from crystal river sarasota and if you guys are not in the state don't worry we're going to be posting for you guys to check it out and see everything that's going on up the final details 
of our show, which is airing 11 a.m. every Sunday at ABC if you're in Florida, from Crystal River to Sarasota, and any counties in between there. So tune in if you guys want to see more about the Titan lifestyle and more behind the scenes with me and Cherise. Hi everyone, I'm Chenille. I'm one of the nurse practitioners here at Titan Medical Center. I wanted to talk to you today about one of the questions a lot of patients ask me. Are estrogen blockers important as part of my hormone or testosterone replacement regimen? The answer to this question is yes. Now, your body makes an enzyme called aromatase that will convert testosterone into estrogens. If that were to become imbalanced, that's when you can start to develop a lot of adverse effects you often hear about with testosterone replacement therapy such as breast tissue enlargement, moodiness, acne, irritability, water retention, even erectile dysfunction, which is what you are trying to fix when you have the hormone imbalance in the first place. So yes, everyone does aromatase or convert the estrogens a little bit differently, which is one of the important reasons why you want to make sure that you're monitoring and managing your blood work properly. But in a sense, short answer, yes, it is important to include the estrogen blocker as a portion of your regimen. With the proper help and guidance here at Titan Medical Center, we can make sure you're on the appropriate dosage and everything is monitored properly. Give us a call, 727-389-3220. Hello, my name is John Sikoris, that's my beautiful wife, Sharice Sikoris, and we're the owners of Titan Medical Center. Today we want to talk about a great mother of antioxidants, glutathione. Glutathione's awesome for everybody because it helps with antioxidants in the system, that's the oxidation in your system it helps with. It also helps with getting rid of free radicals, boosting the immune system. It's good for the skin, for the brain, and it actually does a great liver detoxification as well. Um, we've used it on a lot of our patients. Our doctors are, are very, very big advocates of glutathione. It's a natural way. It's already produced in the body. So, uh, you know, we want to share this information with you. If you're looking for a great therapy like that, then glutathione is definitely the way to go. It also helps with inflammation throughout the body. So, you know, if you do have any, you know, previous injuries or say you have an autoimmune deficiency, Lyme's disease, Crohn's disease, all these things that they tell you there's nothing that they can do mm -hmm. but give you a bunch of prescription medication. Mm -hmm. It's actually an all natural way to, you know, kind of help your day to day and give you a little bit of energy boosting and hopefully help with some of that, you know, some of that chronic pain that you, you know, feel on a day to day basis. You know, another great thing is, is day to day, if you have children and they're going to school like we do, right? They actually bring home those little cooties and you get sick. <laughs> Um, and it, it puts you down, it puts you back a couple of days. So glutathione actually boosts the immune system to kind of get past that. It'll actually feel better or, or get better faster. Um, you know, we we're big advocates of it as well. Um, glutathione can help with a lot of different things. If you're traveling or constantly on an airplane where there's a bunch of germs everywhere, mm -hmm. that's definitely a good reason to take glutathione every day too. You know, obviously you're traveling, everybody gets sick when they travel, they're touching everything, you know, planes, airports, everywhere you go in an airport is absolutely, you know, full of germs. So, you know, if you're traveling, definitely a good one. You know, if you're a CEO, you're an athlete, you know, um, whatever you do and you're getting on a plane, you're going somewhere and it's gonna take a wear and tear on your body, and you know you're gonna be sitting next to somebody that's got cooties, make sure you take some glutathione. How's it going folks? Cass here, nurse practitioner at Titan Medical Center. Wanted to talk to you folks today about boosting your overall health. How do we do that? We have a treatment, it's called Triimmune. This triimmune booster is an intramuscular injection, utilizes some really important ingredients such as vitamin C, zinc, and glutathione. Glutathione is an essential antioxidant that can help you stay healthy, it cleans up the liver, helps boost your immune system, it's good for inflammation reduction in the body, so essentially you want to have your glutathione levels strong. In addition to that, vitamin C, we all know the importance of vitamin C, especially during the winter months 
want to stay healthy, vitamin C can help you do that. And last, zinc. Zinc has been shown to shorten the duration of the common cold, something that you want to have done when you're looking to boost your overall wellness and health. So try Immune Boost, Inner Muscular Injections, something we can go over in detail. Give us a call. We can set up an appointment, 727-389-3220. Hope to hear from you. Stay healthy out there. What's up, guys? John here. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. Awesome, good information that you guys can utilize. Honestly, whatever doesn't break you will make you stronger. That is the truth. Every week, if you don't know, we come up with these tips and tricks to help you guys enhance your relationships. I hope they all see this episode. Whether it's reigniting that passion or just developing a better, stronger relationship. We went through a lot of these trials and tribulations, so we wanted to give you guys the shortcuts. I mean, you guys might even do this and not realize it, and your partner might be currently upset at you, so we might help you in that aspect. This is true. What's up, guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner, just for you guys. So we're here every Sunday, 11 a.m. on ABC, to help you guys out with tips, tricks, and things that are gonna help enhance your relationship and take it to hopefully a better place, right? That Mount Olympus of love. <laughs> I like that. And respect and communication, right? So, all right, this week we're gonna cover something that I think most of all families are participating in, or majority or maybe a little bit i guess the majority of the population majority of the population okay. i think right yeah. so if you guys don't know what the holiday is here in november it's happy thanksgiving happy thanksgiving right that's it and we're, we're a couple of days early we know thanksgiving is next week um but if we did it next week we'd on have our to say Sunday, like happy post thanksgiving yeah anyway, right? yeah we're tr we're, yeah we're trying to be you know trying to be on point here and, and be beforehand <laughs> for you guys. Um, so Thanksgiving is coming up. So happy Thanksgiving or happy early Thanksgiving from us to you guys and all your family. Um, so Thanksgiving, it's, it's used to be a big holiday. Um, I think nowadays it's a little different how things are um, after COVID and after the last couple of years. But Thanksgiving should have great meaning to you and not what happened before in the past and all this stuff that people are trying to turn every which way. But it should be what you're thankful for right and thanksgiving should be a time where you're getting together with all your loved ones family if you can do that friends um, and enjoy and be thankful for everything that god has given you or you've gotten in life mm -hmm. um, everything from the food that you're eating and that's the main thing that we should be focused on because um, it's breaking bread with with different people um, and enjoying their company mm -hmm. and i think that's kind of how it goes back to the early days of why thanksgiving was invented was because be thankful well you know you had the pilgrims and you had the indians that came together and mm -hmm. they had this big feast and that's what thanksgiving kind of came out of right? tons of history buff um yeah i mean you know you know the native americans obviously big part of thanksgiving pilgrims were a big part of thanksgiving my ancestors don't come from the pilgrims um they were in greece somewhere at that time i have no idea what they were doing but there were mountains doing something probably with some goats or sheep you know <laughs> something out there i have no idea who knows but um you know so it's just a little different but listen we all celebrate this as american holiday or we did and uh, hopefully we keep continuing doing this um it's a tradition and traditions that have been going on for this long, I think we should look at them. But hey, listen, this is this is meaningful. But Thanksgiving should be for getting together, like I said, and enjoying all those great foods that you want to eat. All the good stuff. So Turkey. What are you guys gonna eat for Thanksgiving? I can. What do you, What do you think we're gonna eat? That, that, that's another question. Well, what, what it want? just really depends. Yeah. So we've gradually come step down. <laughs> step down? Oh, step yeah. down? It's from there for really step it up. I'm sorry, but like, we, you know, it's, it's throughout the years, you know, um, you know, the families kind of like have separated into different areas yeah, yeah, and, yeah. you know, they, they got other stuff going on because we used to, I guess a lot a while ago. Yeah, we used to get like everybody together. Yeah, you know, we, because we had divorced parents, we were go hopping from house to house to house. Yeah. That was always a joy. Yeah. Um, for Thanksgiving, <laughs> four plates of food. Hey, at least we got to we had to, we got to say our prayers four times that day. That Thank was good. Goodness, that yeah. was good. I'll take that. Um, but it it really is just you know outside of the awesome food that you get to eat because we get to eat like you know usual things is our turkey mashed potatoes corn usually some rolls ham now i have been getting my stuff from honey baked ham i thought you were cooking that Sharice. <laughs> and what you, um, you told me you were downstairs the night before and you had to do it. 
Now I was taking a nap on the couch. So, just trying to catch up on a little sleep, you know, honey baked ham. Lie to you. <laughs> hey, listen, honey baked ham, they rock that ham though. Come on now. All you gotta do is heat it up for 15 minutes in the oven. You, gotta, you can't beat that. Can't beat that. This right? is crazy. <laughs> But it truly is outside of, you know, breaking bread per se and, you know, eating good food and spending good time with good company, family. There's a lot of times, you know, for families to get together, regardless of your, you know, differences or whatever you guys have. You guys put it, you put it to the side for one day yeah. just so that you guys can all be together and, you know, be thankful for whatever it is that you're thankful for. Like, yeah. so what are you thankful for? You know, can you ever do you ever get a chance to sit down and say, what am I thankful for? You know, me personally, you know, after my post COVID situation, you know, John has showed me that I should at least take a moment in the day every day to say what I'm thankful for to God. Right. So I do now I do it every single day religiously, you know, and I do it right in an area where I have to I have to be before I, where I leave the house. So it's going to happen regardless. But what are you thankful for? Your health? Are you thankful for your job? Are you thankful for your kids? Are you thankful for your dog? I mean, what what are you thankful for? You ever think about what you're thankful for and then be thankful for it because nothing in life is guaranteed, right? And I mean, you're not you're not even guaranteed tomorrow, mm-hmm. all right? You mm-hmm. you nothing is guaranteed. Yep. So every day you should be thankful and never take anything for granted. Yep. I mean, yep. right? Yeah, I think it's a big thing, you know. Nowadays, we're, you know, we're about little <laughs> the little things but people treat them as big problems right and when you really look at it in retrospect those big problems are really really little things in the big picture of things so at that point when you're like flipping out because you didn't get something at the store that you wanted like this shirt or whatever well like, that's really my new comparative do you have your health <laughs> do you have a plate of food that you can be able to eat do you have a roof over your head right um, you know, these are different things out there that really people need to sit back and think about and say, listen, I am really grateful for these things um, because, you know what, there's people out there that don't have these things, um, their health, or they don't have a, you know, they don't have anywhere to eat or they don't have a, a roof mm-hmm. over their head. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and it's a shame, right? So, you know, these things we need to make sure that we think your higher power, your God, whoever it is, that you have these things. Um, you can, you know, you can take care of your kids, your family, whatever it may be that you're thankful for. But you should have things that you're thankful for. Right? Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, and if you don't, you really need to, you know, sit back and take a look at things and reevaluate and say, hey, listen, maybe these are some things I should be thankful for. Mm-hmm. Um, and families, you know, it's 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 crazy. Uh, listen, every <laughs> get together I had as a kid, we had huge get togethers and everybody would come to our house, whether it was Thanksgiving, Christmas. Um, and you know what? They got along for the most part of it, but there's always like <laughs> always blow fights, right? There's there's always always blow some, fights. It all, um, it's always something. It doesn't matter. You know, it's always some, just one thing. You, what? You, it always has to end that way. You, you somebody, wanna, somebody leaves mad. You, you got to set your differences <laughs> aside. You got to try to, you know, have <laughs> every time as much fun and happiness with those people, you know. And if you have differences with them, whether it's political nowadays, leave it out, uh, guys. Just, just leave don't it out. Agree with the way they're raising their kids, whatever it may be. Listen, put that aside, focus on the positive things, why you guys are thankful, and why you guys are all together. That's a big, big thing out there. There's people out there that don't have anywhere to go on Thanksgiving, mm-hmm. right? And this is a, a depressing time for some people like that. So if you know people in that position, you have the extra space or plate, invite them over, you know, at that point, you'll you'll do wonders for their self-esteem um, and, you know, they'll feel like they're part of something. I think it's a big thing uh, with family and stuff like that. So if you don't have any family, maybe look to your good friends, maybe your good friends will look to you and say, listen, why don't you come over and enjoy Thanksgiving with us and enjoy this special time of year. Um, I know like things are getting passed over so crazy, so most people just go right to Christmas after Halloween. It's mm-hmm. really, really crazy. Yeah, so, like the Christmas decorations are up on some people's houses already. Yeah. I'm like, it's literally yeah. not even Thanksgiving. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, so, I understand you want to get ahead of the uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, of the the Christmas light. Yeah. You want to get the holiday. You wait for those, you know, those presents. Everybody wants a present, spirit. right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, you know, like I said, come together. Remember what these holidays are for and these traditions are for. Um, and look at the positive thing and be close to family as much as possible. You know, you never know how long you got on this earth, whether it's another minute, another hour, or another day, year, etc. 
So mm-hmm. at that point, really, really um, take that time, enjoy that time. And listen, if you can't, like, if you really just can't be nice, like, and you know, they always told you, or your mom always said, if you ain't got nothing nice to say, don't say nothing at all, right? Yeah. So if you really can't, just just take a couple bites of food, and just yep. keep your mouth full the whole time, yep. right? And you just won't talk. Yep. It just, it works. Don't overconsume <laughs> on Thanksgiving. I know it's kind of hard because you have all that good food in front of you, or you might go to multiple locations like we used to have to. And we you had to, to eat, because if you, you go to their eat. house and you don't oh, eat, it was I, rude. I feel disrespected. Or rude. How dare you not eat a plate of food after you, you just don't ate like three. it? Oh, you don't like my cookie no more? Oh like, my no, God, I don't I like your cookie anymore. This. So, <laughs> <laughs> you know, at that point, don't overconsume. <clears throat> you know, a lot of people are worried about, you know, overconsuming or they stop their, their training, their activity or diet or whatever it may be because of this. Don't do that. <clears throat> And if you find yourself in that position and you want to lose weight or you want these extra things, don't worry because I know of this other place called Tight Medical Center. Just call them like right after. Yeah, call or text them 727 389 3220. They're yeah. going to help you out with all the weight loss. There's like therapies PCAs out there. And there's something else called like Titan Complete. Prometheus. Prometheus. Yeah. Um, you know, also they do blood work and stuff. I mean, no big deal, whatever. But yeah. Yeah, they, I think they can help after this like if. Yeah. like feast of things that you eat and the carb loading. And I think when you call our staff, they might know who we are. So just mention John and Sharice. And sure they'll give like, you oh, a great discount. Guys. All right, yeah. So it'll definitely help you guys. <laughs> Had to plug it in there for you guys. Because after this, you know, after the holidays, people always complain, oh, I have to lose weight. I gained a ton of weight during the I, holidays. I, I feel like I gain weight every day. So don't worry. We got your back here, Titan. But seriously, guys, enjoy your Thanksgiving. Enjoy your time with your family, your friends. If you don't have any... Find some people to go hang out with. Go to a public place. I mean, I used to do that by myself when I was here by myself. You did? Yeah, like when I was first here, <clears throat> like in 2001. You went where somewhere by yourself? <clears throat> what I did in 2001 was my dad was traveling and was doing work. I was still finishing up school. And uh, my mom was up north, right? So I didn't have anybody down here for Thanksgiving. So literally what I did for Thanksgiving was I had a couple buddies that I, I made friends with here. And I have family in Tarpon and stuff like that where I've done that on Thanksgiving here or there. That's but cool. My particular, my first one, I didn't do that. And I had some buddies here or whatever. So literally we went up to like Blue Martini. Mm. Tons of people out. Tons of people. It, 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 it's crazy how many people don't have somewhere to go on Thanksgiving. Um, and they're on about because they don't want to sit at home and be by themselves. So totally understandable. Listen, go out, be social, be active. You might find somebody out there. You might find your relationship out there. You never know where you're going to find your next partner. Thank you guys for tuning in to our show every Sunday at 11 a.m. on ABC. Guys, DVR this if you guys aren't home and you guys know you're going to miss it. If not, go over to YouTube, type Medical Center, type that in. Check out our face. Book our Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, and you guys check out our new website, www.tightmedicalcenter.com. We'll see you guys every Sunday and back next Sunday at 11 a.m. for me and Sharice for Cupid's Corner. See you then. Later, guys. Bye.